and uh, to finish off her mark. 1.78 meters the bar is at in the high jump final for under 20 girls. Just two competitors remaining in this competition. And, uh, and they are the two Jamaicans who are remaining in the high jump final for under 20 girls. Just had a look at Rashida Samuels, a 178 jumper at her best. And also left in the lineup, Dejanay Bruce, the second Jamaican. And uh, here is Bruce, second attempt coming up at this height. A bronze medalist in the triple jump earlier this championship. She's at least guaranteed a silver medal here in the high jump. But if she can go clear at 1.78 meters, she will take the lead. High jump silver last year. Bruce, oh, that wasn't a bad effort. I thought it had stayed on. And she probably did too for a second. But it's not to be for Dejanay Bruce. And she'll have to go to a third attempt to try and go clear at 1.78. Good championship for Bruce last year. She got a silver in the high jump, got a bronze in the long jump. Bruce already, already has one medal thus far. Will she be denied by Rashida Samuels getting the gold? Second time clearances at 173 and 176. Was looking for a second time clearance at 178. Not to be. We'll have to try and figure out and count back which of them has the advantage coming into this 178 height. Dejanay Bruce has gone over 1.78 meters before she did so at the Carifta Games in the Bahamas last year. This season, her best is 1.75. She cleared first time at 176 Dejanay Bruce, so she has the advantage. If both fail to clear at this height, 1.78, then Bruce will finally have her Charypta gold medal. Bruce, what she, Bruce Edwin Allen. She can secure it by going clear right here. Bruce of Jamaica. Looking for a personal best equaling performance. Steps up. No. For now, she has one hand on the gold medal. But she can be denied by her teammate Rashida Samuels. Who has one final attempt to come at this height. Now Bruce looks on as the 19-year-old Rashida Samuels gets ready. First time clearance at 1.76. Has her smiling still. Now the NACAC on the 18 champion, Rashida Samuels. Won that title back in 2021. Now the 19-year-old looking for the Carifta title. Has to clear here, Samuels. Oh, yes! And she does! That's brilliant! That's the way to win Carifta gold! She denies her countrywoman gold at last. But it's hers. The NACA under 18 champion back in 2021 becomes the Carifta under 20 champion in 2024. She needed three attempts at 1.78 meters. That would have that is a season's best performance, and what a time to produce it. Just what? one centimeter shy of a personal best. Rashida Samuels comes in here with a big reputation and justifies it with gold at the Carifta Games. Won the Jamaican High School Championship a week ago, and here she is taking the Carifta title as well. Terrific. This is competition. This is what it's all about. When your back is against the wall, when it's do or die, when it's no or never, and you find a way to deliver, it doesn't get better than this. Comes up lame, but 
that adrenaline is pumping and she's happy. She doesn't need to jump again, but she will, will now be looking for a personal best. The only athletes remaining in the competition. And uh, she will go to 1.80 to set a new personal best mark. I'm surprised she isn't attempting 1.81 meters. That's the qualifying standard for the World Golden Under 20 difference. Championships. And maybe she is not quite in that knowledge at the moment. And so she's thinking, let me go to a personal best. Certainly something her coaches should be able to have a conversation with her about having cleared the 178. Yeah, in my mind, the more sensible height to go to at this stage, having already won the gold medal, is the world on the 20 qualifying mark. But she attempts 180. This is her first attempt. Doesn't go clear, still has a smile. That is what happens when you have done the main part of the job, which was to win the gold medal today. So Bruce will and Karifta with almost the same medals that she got last year. Silver and bronze. Yeah, tough for her. For a second there, she thought she finally had her Karifta gold medal. Denied by this young lady. Samuels zones in once more. Second time clearances at 1.73 and 1.76. Third time clearance at 1.78. She has a second attempt coming up at a personal best height of 1.80. No. We'll go across to David Wiley again to have a word. Fine jumps coach David Riley, brilliant with the herders as well. Sprints all across the board. One boys champs with a very small Wilmers team back in 2010. Fine group of coaches there, now separated all over the land of wood and water. He, technical director of Excelsior High School, who took the Jamaican High School Championships on the boys' side by storm with some amazing performances across the sprints and hurdles. <laughs> sat next to Dominic Johnson. He just said to her, you have three minutes, use all the time. <laughs> As you should. Just one attempt remaining for Rashida Samuels in the high jump final for under 20 girls. Has a chat with the silver medalist, Bruce. Must be a tough moment for Bruce because on one side, you are extremely happy for your teammate. But on the other end, you're thinking, oh my gosh, I was so close to a gold medal. But quite gracious in defeat. Samuels, get ready. Gets ready. Third and final attempt at a personal best height. 1.80 meters. Bounces up to the bar. Doesn't have it, not today. She holds on to that right ankle. Competition done. And hopefully she is not in too much pain, Rashida Samuels. She is the champion. She takes the Corifta gold medal. Dejane Bruce goes across to help her up. Real gracious in defeat here, Dejane Bruce. And the Jamaicans walk away with a 1-2 finish in the under 20 girls high jump. And this is where I was a little bit surprised that she continued in the competition because she did come up lame after clearing the 178 on her third attempt. She was uh, basically limping out of the pit.